coming up on City Spotlight. We're featuring Matt Toon once again here in Season 9, and we're on location. We'll talk with the mayor of Matt Toon, Rick Hall, and Matt Toon City Administrator Kyle Gill about the opening of the new hotel at Cole Center, plus the latest on the new proposed sports complex in Mattoon. A recap of 2022 and a look ahead to 2023 in economic development and public works in Mattoon. Plus, we'll have sights and sounds of the opening of the new hotel at Cole Center. We're starting off 2023 on location in Mattoon, next on City Spotlight. City Spotlight is supported by Consolidated Communications. CCI is honored to salute the cities and their leaders in the area, as well as providing TV, internet, and phone service to local homes and businesses. We live where we work and are proud to support the communities we serve. More information available at Consolidated.com. And welcome to another edition of City Spotlight. As you can see, we are on location, and if you can't tell by the seal behind us where we're at, we're in Mattoon for a new on location episode. We're sharing this episode with you at the beginning of 2023, our first City Spotlight episode of the new year. We're taping here at the end of 2022 on December 12th at City Hall. Two gentlemen to my left are familiar guests to the program. We welcome back to the program the Mayor of Mattoon, Rick Hall. Rick, great to see you. Thank you. We're glad you could come over and we can inform people, tell us what's going on. That's tell right. Tell you what's going on. Got to share that information on what's going on in your community. And Kyle Gill, Mattoon City Administrator, great to see you again, Kyle. Good morning. Good to see you. Have, have had Kyle on many times here on City Spotlight. Exciting times in Mattoon to end yes. 2022, six days prior to us taping here on December 12th. The ribbon cutting for the new hotel at Cole Center probably took a lot longer than anybody yeah. wanted to, but a lot of important and many people were there for that right. ribbon cutting. Both of you were there. Right. Tell us about the opening a, of the new hotel. A long anticipated event. You know, it's, it, but it was, it's been worthwhile. I think we have, we're going to have a fantastic hotel that's going to serve our community in Charleston, Coles County, the region very well. The Yost family did a great job of keeping this all together and getting this finally done. So, Yeah, we had uh, several conversations over the couple of years that took, mm -hmm. but uh, a lot of conversations of working on what can be done, how they were doing through the process, and you know, COVID took its toll on it as well, but very glad to see the end of the project, and it's a beautiful building. Yeah. And the timing couldn't be better, by the way, with our sports complex, and we'll talk about that, I think, in just a little bit. But uh, jump, jump start, what's moving forward? Yes, we'll talk yeah. about that in just a second. Let's, let's talk about the strengths of the hotel. We've talked about all the hypotheticals of what it will be. It's up, it's visual, you can see it there. Whether you're coming from Charleston, you're getting off the interstate in Mattoon, uh, it's serving with hotels, so there's the economic factor. Right. Also does have dining, and right. also the convention center aspect, so lots of meetings. So it's, it's a multi-purpose facility. It is, definitely. We don't really have a hotel like that in Mattoon. And it'll, like you say, it'll serve Eastern Illinois University, Lakeland College, the corporations in our area. You know they they will benefit from it a great deal. It's nice actually to have it on the Charleston side of the exit because of Eastern and things, but it's right there where you know where Mattoon is too. So that's 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 great. And and with the restaurant and stuff, it's the first hotel that we had that has a restaurant in it that allows visiting teams that come to play against Eastern mm -hmm. to actually stay in Coles County and not have to go to another county or another city to stay. So that food can be provided for the players. I know there's some EIU basketball games coming up and also EIU commencement. So yes, the yes. rooms might get used immediately. Oh, absolutely. As if not already. That's right. what we're taking here it, on. It is. Yeah, it December has been. 12th. Uh, excitement of that day. And, and what is showing by area leaders to show up to that? That yes. says how important a day it was. What did that mean to have uh, community leaders from all of Coles County to be there? Not just Mattoon, but many Charleston people were there, important people were there. Well, we, you know, we find out that our area does a great job of supporting events like this. And, and we're very, again, we're very fortunate we have people like we've got in our area that, you know, support events like this because it will have a very positive impact on a lot of things that we do. Um, we're gonna have much more from the ribbon cutting. I was there. 
Uh, Don Yost spoke a long, a long, uh, for quite a while at the ribbon cutting because it's obviously a very important day for him and his son Jeremy, who we had on the program. Interviewed Jeremy right at the right before COVID hit, kind of previewing what this place could be. You also talked about it, Rick. Um, Kyle, the Yost family, they have they've had their hands in a lot of projects, a lot of facilities in the area. Uh, just the latest accomplishment for them. Uh, their contributions to the area are, are numerous. Numerous. Uh, they've been great for not only for Mattoon, but for Coles County. And like I said, they put a lot of work into it and they work hard at anything that they do accomplish. And just all the, uh, the big turnout says so much of all the support and friends that they have in the community. So the hotel is on the east side, east of Mattoon, on the west side of, that's the east side of the interstate. On the west side, again, we've talked about the proposed sports complex since we last taped. It has a name. Right. So what, what's, what's the name? If people haven't at home heard already yeah. what the proposed name is. Emerald Acres Sports Complex, or Sports Connection, excuse me. And Emerald, and, if I'm looking at, Emerald is right. green, so that's an appropriate color. Right. And actually, all <laughs> the words mean something in this name, and we spent a lot of time trying to figure out how we could have a name that's unique that served our area. Emerald, of course, the color green. Emerald, people think of as a jewel. We think of this project as a jewel. Uh, of course, the green is Green Wave and Mattoon. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Acres is kind of a fallback to, we're in an agricultural area. You know, we're, we're, so. uh, our, we're a big part of what we do is agriculture related. So the Emerald Acres and the sports, of course, is the event that's going on. We, we to toyed around with a complex versus connection. And the reason why we went with connection is it's not just about the sports complex. It's about a lot of things. It's about the school district, Sarah Bush Lincoln Health Center. You know, it's Eastern Illinois University, the YMCA, you know, Lakeland College. It's a connection for our community. So that's why we went with that name. It'll be unique. There won't be another one like it out there. So you have the hotel on one side of the interstate, proposed sports complex on the other side of the interstate. Uh, Again, first episode of 2023, there's a lot of steps. These things don't just pop up overnight. <laughs> What's the next step, Kyle, as the sports complex moves forward? Well, we are, we're already getting phone calls from several different uh, brokers looking for lots out in the east side, both sides of the interstate, but especially out around the sports complex. So uh, that's a good sign. Uh, we've got a lot of getting a lot of interest in the development as people are hearing about the sports complex. And uh, it, it's what we wanted this sports complex to do is help bring economic development to the city and you know it's it's working like we planned. It's a long-term project again it doesn't just pop up overnight. Um, what is the long-term plan? When when could things be? I mean obviously it took three years almost for the Mattoon, the new hotel. Uh, right. Hilton Garden Inn. Right. It took almost three years for it to be built. Uh, what is what is building it and what's the long-term plan for it to maybe be up and running? Well, there, there's a lot of pieces, of course, to this puzzle. Uh, the, the financing is one where, you know, we're working right now with the, the finishing the design and getting bids on the project, mm -hmm. but groundbreaking looks like it's going to be uh, spring uh, for phase one. It's a two-phase project. The indoor right. facility is phase mm -hmm. one, outdoor is phase two. Both projects are, ex are expected to, to have groundbreaking next year. Uh, they're both about a 12 to 15 month construction period. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're thinking, uh, like I say, the springtime of 2023 to start the, the indoor and the fall of 2023 to start the outdoor. And it'll be, like I say, a 12 to 15 month construction period. So somewhere within one to two years, somewhere, right. somewhere right. in that range. Exactly. Very, very good. New hotel, proposed sports complex, both large projects for Mattu, one's complete onto the next one as, as always. Uh, economic development, I heard uh, from uh, some media reports, a winery is in the works for that too? Yes, it is on, on Lerner Road. That's just one of many things that are gonna happen. We're gonna see restaurants. We're, we're, we expect to build 500 rooms in, in new hotels. You know, we talked about the Hilton. The Hilton's got the jump on everybody right now, but there will be other hotels that have right. to come here because we're expecting 580,000 visitors a year when this project is, this is new visitors a year when this project is completed. So we will need more hotels. And in fact, we'll, we'll find out that we'll have overflow to other, other communities around us just because we won't always have enough rooms. All right, so the winery is uh, 
Right. This is Lerner Road, so it'll right. be in the vicinity of the Hill. Absolutely. Okay. Just uh, what a couple miles away. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Very from good. About a mile. About a mile away. So. A lot of traffic on Lerner Road uh, everywhere. Uh, at the it's Cross County Mall, Dunham Sports is up and running there, filling that void at that one end of the uh, of the Cross County Mall there. So. Uh, how is it doing? And it, it, again, it, it fills a, a spot that was vacant in the mall. Yeah, it's doing very well. Uh, I've talked to the managers out there. They're very happy with, with the success that they're having. Um, I get a lot of compliments from people coming into town saying they really like the store, what all they have to offer. Um, Rural King has done a great job of helping revitalize that mall yes. and, and the area around. You know, they're also a big player in the sports complex. So. Um, been great. We've had other new uh, developments as well, like Holy Moly Donuts downtown. Uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of momentum right now with the city of Mattoon and new people remodeling or, or uh, adding new stores. Um, yeah, it's been a great, great year and we hope it continues into 2023. Venture over to Mattoon with my wife on a personal level for a lot of date nights on Fridays and Saturdays to see the Mattoon Mall full. That's right. a great. That's a great site. Yeah, again, Rick, right. the importance of the mall that it's thriving. Of course, Rural King did a great job of what they did. But again, the importance of the mall to Mattoon still. Well, there's a lot of parts of the mall. We and, you, and we've heard about Elevate before, which we've also got that mm -hmm. the mall and 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 Rural King helped get those you know them in there. And, and it's a good uh, project that doesn't require a lot of uh, a retail space is sort of on the back side of the mall, but the mall is clearly continuing to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're going to see more stores coming in out there, but we've got other stores popping up around the community. Uh, again, the sports complex, there's letters of intent of new, new companies coming here, retail, restaurant. I think it's going to be really exciting what's coming in the next couple of years here. Great chance to talk with uh, community leaders at the end of one year, start of a new year. So let's continue to recap Mattoon from an economic development. You mentioned, Kyle, one of the other businesses that popped up in the downtown area. Any other notable businesses that popped up in Mattoon in 2022 that you'd like to share with them? Um, we've had, uh, you know, Casey State Bank wasn't in downtown, but it was out on their building right now out on uh, Lerner Road, Road as yeah, well. I right. believe that the location's near, uh, on the way to Douglas Hart Nature Center, so it's, yeah. that's kind of the location it's, it's of It's kind of almost catty corner, if you from, think about it, from, from, the from, these, from the New Hilton. So you're, you're kind of filling that land that's right. been just land for a long time. Well, and, and we will see more out mm -hmm. there, but because we've, we, you know, we've got our, streets, our streetscaping project downtown, we've got two more blocks to finish this next year. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's going to get more people to come downtown. We're seeing uh, the old Thrifty Building, uh, which is a 17th and Broadway. We're, we've got a th couple things coming in there. We've got a daycare center coming in down at, at 18th and Broadway. Uh, of course, uh, you know, the new school project that they've got. The lift building. The lift building. It looks I don't fantastic. Know if, have you been in it? Have you? Uh, <laughs> I, I, ta I taped the yeah. very beginning of this okay. season with okay. uh, school leaders from uh, uh, Mattoon. And... Uh, it wasn't officially open at that time, but I've been promised right. I can, I can oh, visit yeah. it at some point, okay. hopefully later this yeah. season. So that's a, that's well, a, that's a great that, thing. That's just out. another piece, though, to downtown. And that brings, you're going to have a lot of students down there, but you're also going to have a lot of teachers and adults down there. In that facility, we're going to have more restaurant demand. We're yes. going to see other things coming, you know, downtown. La, so. La Luna's Mexican restaurant came to the downtown area. Right. You know, so it's, it, it's, it's thriving, and we just want to keep the momentum going. Fantastic. Uh, you mentioned the, the streetscape kind of in that area, Broadway Avenue continuing to evolve. Any other notable public works projects in 2022 that you'd like to share? Uh, we did a resurfacing on DeWitt Avenue from 12th Street out to Logan. High uh, traffic street high, in that too. High traffic it street needed it. needed it. And we've been working on it for several years when we were going to get it plugged in place. And we were able to do it this past year, which worked out great. Um, that's one of the one of the major ones that we did this year. So, but but 2022, mm -hmm. which you're kind of looking forward to a little bit. Yes. Uh, Charleston Avenue from Lakeland Boulevard all the way to Lerner Road is Route 16 is going to completely be resurfaced. And like and the city of Charleston revamped Lincoln Avenue. Right. And that, that is not something that happens maybe every couple of decades. Yeah. And the right. inner exchange is going to be completely redone. Uh, IDOT is still on schedule. We're going to see the sports complex and IDOT both being developed at the same time. That's not necessarily a negative. It's better that we get it all done up front True. because the traffic count is going to so go. So a little, little headache for long time gain, I guess. No, that's right. Well, we have to do that. If you're right. going to improve, you're going to have to, you know, especially existing facilities, you're going to have some issues with that. 
but it should be exciting. We've seen in recent years, obviously, the work on Marshall Avenue. You said DeWitt. Uh, another, another project that you have in the works for Public Works moving forward 2023 that people can expect in Mattoon. So we would hope to finish the last two blocks of the downtown streetscaping. Well, and, uh, and, what, and what are those exact spots uh, that, that need to be worked on? So 14th to 15th and 15th to 16th. Okay, very good. So okay. yeah, they'll, they'll match the streetscaping that we've done from 16th down mm -hmm. to 19th. Um, we've got some extensions of the bike trail from right, 10th Street to the Amtrak station that will be constructed this summer. And then we're also extending, hoping to extend the bike trail out, out around the hotels, the existing mm -hmm. hotels, uh, making it, uh, getting it closer to the sports complex as mm -hmm. well. And then um, we've got a sidewalk project that we would hope to got done this year. Uh, we did not, we weren't able to get done this year with the grant, but uh, it's the north side of Western Avenue from the train tracks basically out to Riddle School. So okay. uh, helping the kids safely to school and those are other big projects that we have already planned and working on others as well. We just did, we just did a new ball, uh, dog park in 2022, which has been very popular. Yeah, how's uh, that at, going? That's going very well. I think uh, I was surprised by the number of people that really would participate in a dog park. I knew a lot of people are pet owners, but there's been a really, a really good uh, start to that project. And again, for folks at home that are maybe outside of Mattoon, where is this dog park at? It's, it's at a sports complex. It would actually be uh, Shelby, between Shelby and Richmond, and it would be... Between first and Second Logan. Street. So the yeah. Ball Diamonds on that side of Mattoon? On the east side of the Ball Diamonds, yeah. Okay, yep. very good. So Well, we've kind of allotted our 15 minutes of time, <laughs> but I, I want to kind of get your last comment. Uh, exciting times, end of one year, start of a new year. Your thoughts on a new year in Mattoon? It's got to be refreshing oh, that yeah. things are kind of back to normal. The future looks bright for Mattoon and the area. And uh, we, when we first started meeting, when the, uh, the council was elected all at the same time uh, and took office in, in 2021, we established seven objectives. We're, we're completing three of them. We've got two that are moving forward now, got a couple to work on, but we are moving towards having a very successful year for the community. Kyle, you've been at this quite a while, the city of Mattoon. Again, is what Rick is saying, continuing to move forward in Mattoon, and things are being complete, and it's just on to the next thing. That's right, and <laughs> we keep keep growing. Um, we're trying to do more things. We've, we've hired a grant writer. We've hired an economic development person um, to continue the momentum and see good things in the next few years. One more thing we ought to mention is the budget. Yeah. Our budget results, a few years ago, we were right on the you know, on the edge of being in the red all the time. And Albeit we always had You were cuts. in the heat of the pandemic. Yes, 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 we were. But now this this past year, we had a balanced budget. The, the year that we're in right now uh, looks to be a very good year for the city of Mattoon. Uh, and, and, I, and I think that this is going to add to our growth. Fantastic. Great catching up with Rick Hall and Kyle Gill, City of Mattoon here at the end of 2022. Happy New Year to start 2023. Lots of great things to talk about now and moving forward. We look forward to talking with you guys later in 2023. Thank you. Thank you. And coming up next here on City Spotlight, we'll have highlights from the ribbon cutting of the new hotel at Cole Center. But first, let's take a look at some of the upcoming activities going on in Mattoon. and I'm managing member for our Hilton Garden Inn and Convention Center. And it's a happy day for our family. One of the greatest days in my life was to move to Charleston and Coles County. And I appreciate all of you. We've been in business for 34 years and without you, we wouldn't be here. I'd like to introduce uh, Jeremy and Jessica Yost. Jeremy is my son, and he's my partner. Uh, Jeremy is part of ownership, and uh, he's uh, the CEO of uh, Yost Enterprises. 
He's my uh, vice president of uh, Yoast Management, and he's going to be helping me. He's, he's on the ground, he's my eyes and ears, and no one <laughs> has worked harder than Jeremy Yoast. Jeremy, come up here. He gets up about 4.30 in the morning, and I won't let him call me, but we talk every day. Jeremy, say a couple words. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate it. First and foremost, uh, Mr. Mayor, distinguished guests, uh, members of the community, thank you guys from the bottom of our heart. This has been an extremely hard and long process for our family and our partnership. And we appreciate that everybody has stood next to us and been beside us through this whole entire operation. We're here, we're open, we're ready to serve the community, and we're not going anywhere. We're gonna be here for many years to come. We've got a phenomenal leadership team that we could not be more proud of. From the bottom of my heart, we look forward to serving Matt Toon and the greater Coles County area. Thank you guys so much. This has been a family dream for over 15 years, and one of the things you'll find out about us, we're dedicated. This is the second time I've bought property to open a hotel here in that tomb. This one's for real, and I thank God for it. <laughs> um, we uh, have 102 rooms, um, and uh, we are the only full service hotel and convention center that's in this area. And uh, we uh, look forward to serving and offering the convention center because this is going to uh, offer a lot of opportunities that previous to this where people had to go somewhere else for large events. So we'll do conventions, we'll do weddings, we'll do anniversaries, we'll do birthdays, we'll do anything. And uh, I, I'm so excited. Our uh, seating will be around 325 for banquets, and our uh, theater capacity will be around 550. So uh, maybe that's not the biggest, but it's, it's not bad. And uh, we are here to serve you. I pledge, as I did uh, in 1989 at Sticks when we opened it, we will work hard for you. We will give you the best service that we can because I owe too much not to. <laughs> right now, it's my honor and pleasure to indicate our sincere appreciation to the city of Mattoon. This would have never happened without them working with us through a redevelopment agreement and being there through thick and thin uh, on this extended period. So I'd like for you all to give a warm welcome to Rick Hall, the mayor of the city of Mattoon. Rick. Good things happen to good people. In this organization and the Yost family, the contractors, the employees, the city of Mattoon, we're so happy to have you here. This is one of the, this is the nicest hotel in our area right now. There's a gut about, we get this sports center together, this place is gonna be so full that they're not gonna have enough time to do anything except make money. So that's what you're here for. So this family here has been great to work with. There's been a lot of obstacles over the last few years and we all know that because of COVID and a lot of other things. But the timing right now couldn't be better to do this. So congratulations Thank to you. Thank you, Mayor. And Thank you. From the bottom of our heart, we just thank you so much for coming out today. And we're gonna work hard to make you proud. Uh, and we just appreciate it beyond words. Thanks guys. about the excitement of this day for you and your family. You know, the last few years has been so incredibly stressful for our family with COVID-19 and the impacts that not only was put on the hospitality industry, but what it put on each and every single individual throughout the whole entire world. 
hard work pays off, and we're so, so excited to have our Hilton Garden Inn and the McKenna Yost Convention Center open to the public for many years to serve Matt Toon and the greater Coles County. Your dad and you have been through a lot of ventures together. Um, what does this one mean? So throughout, throughout all the years, the last 14 years, I've been tag team partners with my father. I've learned a lot. We've done many apartments, assisted livings, many, many business ventures. This one's extra special. About 12 years ago, we started this venture, bought the land, wanted to make the Hilton Garden Inn and a convention center a thing for Coles County. We knew it would be an anchor and bring in many other business opportunities for the area. Getting this and having it come to fruition is the best feeling that I could ever explain. It's completely a dream come true for our entire family to have this place open and running. So one of our unique features about our Hilton Garden Inn is our front lobby common area. It's a place where everyone can come in, relax, you want to work on your laptop, and we've got hookups on every piece of furniture. It's something that's unique that nobody else offers in our area, where you can come in, you've got direct access to where you can go to a beautiful bar, you can sit and relax in comfy chairs, or slide right on over to the restaurant. Open seating feel. Having a first class hotel, a Hilton Garden Inn with a convention center is a game changer for not only Matt Toon, but the greater Coles County area. This is an almost a $20 million development that is gonna bring in more businesses to the area. Eastern Lakeland will be able to host more events that they weren't able to host. And next football season, football teams for the first time are actually gonna be able to stay in our area, which is fantastic for the universities. Easier travel time to get to O'Brien Stadium. And we look forward to serving the community and the landscape in Mattoon and Coles County is changing for the better. More businesses are coming and we look forward to being a part of that for many years to come. Ed, from a chamber perspective, what a tremendous day. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful facility. This is the most gorgeous facility we have in our area. It's just going to be so welcoming to people coming off the interstate. We can't thank the Yost family enough for all the wonderful work they've put into this. It's been a labor of love, but it's finally done, and it's a showcase for our community. And this is kind of the start of, hopefully, even more bigger things, so this is kind of catapulting to the next stuff. Absolutely, this part of town, we have Casey State Bank opening up right across the street. We are going to soon be having a major sports complex on the other side of the highway. So I just can't be more optimistic about the future of our community with gorgeous facilities like this and with all the things coming soon. City Spotlight is supported by Consolidated Communications. CCI is honored to salute the cities and their leaders in the area, as well as providing TV, internet, and phone service to local homes and businesses. We live where we work and are proud to support the communities we serve. More information available at consolidated.com.